I beg patience, all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? Hey, where are Master Ame? You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something of a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> I can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? Who governs this bar? I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the governor Trigger. Good and fair Dane come to London four years back. Trigger? Aye, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa, <laughs> dealing with old manor and Avery. Stow! Avgus wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We are talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgus wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. <laughs> And if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! Heaven, you fight like the devil stolen your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Road, be a good lad and trick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, is that it? I will have dealings with any who can deliver fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that is you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stowe's my name, Stowe of London. It is good to meet you, Reeve Stowe. London sits on sturdy shoulders. Uh, to be fair, I'm not the only Reeve. There are two of us now, and the governor to boot. We do our best in these times, wild as they are. Take me to your governor, Stowe. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigo we go. God, no. No, no, no. It took three arrows to kill him. The next twelve were an insult. Oh, Lord, deliver these men with the light of thy countenance visiteth and shines upon them. You've no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stowe. It can't go on like... like this. If this one had a head, you'd be calling him Trigger, yes? Your governor. God above, the man is dead. Some respect, please. We'll get along well, you and me. You must be Erke, London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me second reeve? First, in the Eastborough. And a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. He came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with his clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man. And that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder on the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger was shot where he sat. Probably as he read the letter. One of the guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. He didn't make it. A second Druid found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attacker took his eyes, then came the Trigger's head. 
Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless gods. The killers were without fear. This killer was a message. Their footprints leave together. Three sets, heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by Manikas. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baltersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. The Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The leads hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic Temple. I passed it on the way here. This temple is our only strong lead. I would like to see it. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? It's worth knocking on a few doors. That's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Hey, boy. You bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum. Notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they are called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. Do we know anything we can act on? Let us not waste any more time. We'll find the arrow and the leech. Killing both should drag the compass back into port. So, I will catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him. Eivor, people good to see a lawman in the hunt. And once we've found the arrow, this order needs to know we'll be after the leech and the compass as well. The noise yet about the arrow and recruits. I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor. What was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and... It was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think he'd do something so vile. But... Then do not. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a Reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But... but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It is not good to attach yourself to any one person. Be your own man. Forge your own path. I should. I know. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. What's your business? Shooting or watching? 
You are looking for skilled archers, and now you have found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want... To see how want a trial round to test your eye? I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. That's deadly aim you have. Best I've seen for some time. Well shot! You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Hussa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. Are you Hussa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there. Look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London! We have had... a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home... and robbed him of his life. Knocked. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves! He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! Unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fell me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you would like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgus, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage. ...to harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition. Greed. Anger. From one man, such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it is a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it, and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it is cold comfort. But glory has the taste of your family's blood. With Avgo's gone, I will turn my attention to the leech. Erke should be down at the keys. He'll be waiting for you. If the compass should emerge, we will let you know. Then I'll be at St. Paul's Church, waiting for the good word. Take care, Broga. Is this the leech's work? They are. New corpses every day. Sure. Their eyes are scooped out. Black, empty caverns. Same as Trigger's gods. Must be hundreds of people passing by here each day. Anyone see them dumped? 
It's the riverbank, Vinner. Every crooked dealing in this city goes through here. Spo has seen the same. It is not only the ducks. How is that Sparrowheart? I worry for him. Soft, but unsullied. He helped me find Avgos, and that is enough. Avgos? I had a hunch or two about that arse blister. Should have acted. Any hunches about the leech you want to share? Erke! Tell me it wasn't her! It wasn't your daughter, dear Kida. Take a breath. Oh, thank Freya. I have such a fear I will find her down here. She works errands for a smith who sends her to these docks. Most times at night. I cannot stand it. When did she go missing? A few days back. Left after sundown. Never came home, my Regna. Gods, if I could see her again. I haven't seen her in two days, and feared the worst. In London, you must always fear the worst. What sort of job did she have? Ran errands and the like. She would make a delivery, trade it for hack silver, and scurry back to her smithy. Do you know the name of the man? Name. But I wish I did. I would box his ears and harvest his nuts. Anything else you remember? I had a neighbor once tell me she saw Regna. Lingering for a time under the London Bridge. Worried me sick hearing that. That is a good place to start. Thank you, Gila. A shady smith. A missing child. It's a lead with some weight. London Bridge after sundown. It's worth a look. Good. I'll hang about here and keep things calm. And Eivor, don't drop your guard around these docks. Do I look like one who could? The purse I'm old. Huh? Who the fuck are you? I'm the one asking questions, Sudfinger. Did you craft a set of surgeon's tools for someone called the Leech? You think shit! No tell nor Valhal will want you once I'm done! One more, that's all. I'm nearly finished. That is enough. Oh, it's you. For all the dead we collect, dear sister, you and I are equals. Quite a charnel house. I I'd lost count of how many. I suppose I've been greedy in my research, but not for lack of care. The ancient ones. The Arbiters. They built us out of simple pieces. So easy to break. So difficult to mend. There must be an improvement. We should be stronger. Faster. Smarter. I could have fixed us. I could have made us better. We are blood and bone and spirit, Frida Swift. Perfect as we are. You've such beautiful eyes. Finish it. Would you? It is done. Ah! The leech is blared out. And did you catch a name? A nun. Name of Frida Swift. What? The good sister? That can't be right. She was a saint. A healer and a... <laughs> Gods! That brick fits this week's wall of shit. You knew her? She saved me. Mended the broken leg. Thought I'd lose it. But not with Frida Swift. You wouldn't know it was ever broken. The sands will run backwards now. 
Without her, we'll return to balancing humors. All of that for this. Secrets of the human form. How she saved lives. And how she ended them. It might be the ravings of a madwoman. Not every problem has a clean solution. True. Very true. I've built my name selling the heart fix. I'll live with it. This was her fix. All her ideas and discoveries written here. Ill-gotten gains. I have a mind to burn that bloody tome. Is that the right call? It has cures for everything, from boils to broken bones. It is worth keeping. We fight wars to save those we love, and pay in blood for what we win. This book, this is your good sister's battlefield, her kingdom. You may be right. We can't return the dead to life. But their sacrifice can mean something. If you need me, I'll be at St. Paul searching for something on the compass. Thanks for all this, Broca. Some surly guests outside. Eivor! We were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. It is about time you found each other. Stop tiptoeing around it. Yes, I've found Stowe and he's found me. And, uh, and here we are. Together. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Avgors and Frieswith have angered many. Let us hope the Compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? Let us go over all that has happened up till now. Trigger was killed and dismembered by men who worked for him. Men he trusted. Avgos, the Arrow. Our brother-in-arms. He wanted Lunden for the Order. And the good sister. That's another knife to the back. London Saint. Sister Friesrith. And lay it out, plain as day. Aye. We let fly the feather dart, cut raven ink from a cowering quill. Now we wait, wolf tensed, for the master of the river rep to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well, this one's got the gift of all in's meat. What is on your mind, though? We know the compass is a sailor, a captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull, so to speak. With the death of the leech and the arrow, you want to hit back, but we can't know how or when. Apart from this, the man's invisible. Coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up! You find a way out! view of the city from the roof. There's a new flotilla in the harbor. The compass. Bastard. If we commandeered the springwoods at Avgos built, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Order's men will be easy to rout. My own way. Less danger to you both. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our swords and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little boys. We'll see you when it's done, Erke. Count on it. Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that is a child's way out. To hell with London. Udika was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick-and-mortar shithouse. 
So bright and beautiful, set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That is enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that tide. The drinker we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burned? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood, more stone. <laughs> Ill-timed, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. Until our next meeting. I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, eh? If all... You found two. Aye, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trigger's before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the rights to wear it now. I'm touched, Erke. I will carry it with pride. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles. And you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our... The deer are dead. They may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problems finding allies there. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. Do you need something? Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. It gives me joy to take these from you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. 
With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. London is with us, and cleansed of the Order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. I want to see the Alliance map. The Chael Bet has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Chael Bet hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chael Bet can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the F and Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce, dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The Venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace, ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last Elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet well installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a Shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. <laughs> Eva will toughen you up. But watch your back. He's a wily one. It is always the same with me, boy. When things get too quiet, I throw daggers. <laughs> I'll be on my guard. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is the king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and snip the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. Captain Aeneo, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gas, you reeking piss pot in your fat fuck. Rodri, you've wasted your men's lives in a fruitless war. Eva need not show respect to His you. His Dane is deluded. How dare you speak to my husband in this manner? Now, now, calm everyone. 
Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. Damn your eyes. Here's the silver. Do with it what you will, but don't upset this chance at peace. I did not know you were so foolish with coin. Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? I gave the silver to Eivor, for his assurance that he will stay calm. I have yet to see Eivor look calm. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Eivor, combat, no. now! Boneless Ivar, spineless, toothless, gutless, you cannot kill me. A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother, does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> by God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety, go, quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! Ah, now that is Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Eva, ah. you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now, but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Chaelbert. You watch my back, and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. Ivar has a point. Rodri showed us nothing but contempt. Peace was not to be written today. You see, Adeling, Eivor understands. There can be no peace with these backward Britons. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well... For food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater.
I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. In Rodri is to destroy his supply line and bring him to the table, begging for a truce. Once we have peace, you and your kin will no longer walk this land in wretchedness. What you say is good sense. Very well, Dane. Here's what I know. The Britons move their goods through Duston Quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the Stone Quarry. And thank you. Speak. What are you? I died a terrible death, killed by wolves or something. Nobody read the last rites. I'm stuck in purgatory. Have a heart, Wayfarer. Give a little something to help free me. Give something? A little offering to help a fellow out on my journey to the land of the dead. I'm not fooled by trickery. Do not pester dead people. Fifty pieces of silver will be enough to bring me peace. I will find you and kill you. Twelve pieces of silver. You'll soon be dead enough. A head of cabbage? Your baker is done, Tarvin. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There's no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up downriver. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. Eivor, chill belt. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherling here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Anir is the Briton's best warrior. If he dies a brutal death, Rodri will think twice about fighting back. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Ah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. Bloody kindling it is. We will smash this place to splinters. Come, Jailbert! The fight is on! Let the Saxon villagers flee, Eivor. Only the Britons deserve our wrath. Eivor! 
Did you see Chilbert fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Oh, Chilbert, your god bores me to death! Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The Song of Swords, the Blood Mist, the Bone Crunch and Baring of Teeth! To survive a battle is to be born anew in blood and streams. My father died in Snake Pit. Left nothing but moldy bones and putrid flesh. But by the gods, he had earned a place at Odin's table. Your father, Ragnar, left a strong saga. Chelbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Esbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need me. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or... fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chael. You should have seen Chaelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just. But I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. I had my doubts about this plan, Eva, but I believe it may work. This blow we dealt Rodri is a painful one. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Eva should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Eva. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, Wolfkist. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard! You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these... Cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad. 
Greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then at long last we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chailbout must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. You have seen Chailbert? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Arderling. Ask another! Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. Gore, it is done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chailbert? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Chailbert? My brother saw him last. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Chailbert? Chail... Bert? Did none of you see Chilbert? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. How long before he's fit to speak, would you say? A few hours should do it. Unless you find another way to rouse him. Have a nice nap. What country is this? I am looking for Chilbert. Have you seen him? If you must know, the little brat went off hunting boar some time ago. Yes, I know. But where was he hunting? He went south. That's all I know. Probably followed the stream here, south to the forest. That's enough to go on. Thank you. Gor, it is done. Peace, eh? And now every... If not... He asked me to go... Uh, uh, that you live. I... I... Oh. Stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Guards. The Briton dressed. Keep breathing, boy. Oh, you haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. Eivor! What happened? No! No! You foolish boy! What did you do? I found him deep in a cave beset by wolves. Ivar. Easy, boy. Easy. E. Ivar. Get me an axe right fucking now! Ivar. He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is. Axe or not. Go to your god, boy. I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. Your war is back on. What? You 
was killed with this. A Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolav, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs! We must move fast, then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolfkist. You spared that wet turd Leofrith. We will not spare Rodri! I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Cheobert! Murdered. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Send the boy's body to his father. He will want the Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rotary is holed up in Kausto Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. By the way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. A good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rotary to me.